Welcome to Critical Gaming 93. My name is Cleo. This is part two of the video and this is in fact to test out the noise on the pump on this unit which is actually the EK AIO Elite 360. Now for those of you who are actually new to this channel and you have missed the part one, you can click on the top right hand corner where it takes you to the unboxing and the detailed illustration of this unit. Right in front of you, besides the EK AIO 360 Elite Pump, I have the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 and the Lianli Galahad Pump. Now, a question posed by my viewer mentioned that which pump create the most noise? In fact, all these pumps are very quiet because it will be a distance away from you. So, for me, I do not hear any noises unless you place your ears near the pump. Now, just for illustration purposes, right? This is actually a voltmeter whereby it will read from the power source. This is actually a hub. It's reading at 11.7. Be it whether I move to the next one, it's always at 11.7. Show you again. See? Now, I'm just going to move the microphone near the pump and I'll start off with Arctic Liquid Freezer 2. I will stop the fan because you just want to hear the pump, right? So this is how it, hear, how it sounds like. i repeat that again. Yeah, this is with the fan. Probably you can hear the fan noise. Now, on the Galahad itself, if you're away from it, you do hear slight whining, but not as loud. So this is micro this microphone is actually very near to the uh, pump itself, so you can actually hear the whining. This only happens when it kicks start, meaning to say when you start from cold. So when it start up, start the uh, motor itself, right? It will cause the noise. Let me show you again. Next will be the EK AIO, or should I say the uh, EK Elite AIO. I'll repeat that again. See, for some reasons, right, the EK and the Galahad will give you a tick, 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 and a whining noise when it starts up. But once it's stable, right, it doesn't give you any noises. In the next video, I'll be talking about this unit here, which is actually the Lianli Streamer Plus. I will go in depth as in how to actually do the uh, banding correctly and not to hurt the uh, ARGBs and also how to actually connect this streamer plus to its original controller and a bonus on it is how to make use of this streamers on a unifan controller so if you guys do not want to miss this video do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button till then take care goodbye see ya